Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we're continuing our gel data tutorial series, and I'm pumped about today's topic. We are going to create a super useful crypto DCA or dollar cost averaging bot. If you've ever wanted to automate your crypto investments without constantly watching the market, this strategy is going to save you a ton of time and effort. Now, before we dive in, just a quick reminder, if you're new here, Jaldater is an awesome no-code automation platform where you can easily build crypto trading strategies without needing to code. You simply drag and drop the tools that you need and you let Jaldater do the rest. Now, let's jump straight into our today's strategy. The first step, as always, is to open up app.gelderer.com. Link will be in the description. And this is the dashboard that you will see. We're going to open up the strategies tab here. And in this, we can see our previous strategies and we can create new strategies. So we're gonna go with create strategy and we get this workflow. And uh, this is where we're gonna get started. Now, again, the first step in every strategy is to first give it a name so you don't confuse it with other strategies that you have in place. For this one, I'm gonna name it simply weekly DCA, pretty straightforward. And for description, I'm going to give it buys BDC using 10% of USDT holdings every Monday. Now, in order to create this strategy, the first step that we have is to first add date and time. You know, when do we want the strategy to buy Bitcoin for us? Now, since the description says itself, we want to purchase Bitcoin every Monday. So select this option and we're going to choose once every Monday. Now we're going to come back. The next step is to add a step called asset balance. Now what this step does is that it will only execute the trade if you have, let's say, a minimum balance. For instance, when you click on it, I'm gonna go with the paper exchange. This is the exchange that I'm using for this purpose. But in this step, you are going to select the exchange that you want to use, that you want gel data to use in order to execute the trades. Then you're going to select the asset that you want to use in order to purchase Bitcoin. So in this case, I want to use Tether USDT to purchase Bitcoin. And I'm going to go with the condition to greater and equal to, let's say 50. Now what this is going to do is, the trade will only be executed every Monday if the USDT balance in my exchange that I have selected here has more than equal to or more than 50 USDT. If it has less than 50 USDT, the trade won't go through. And the final step is to give it a, in a sense, call to action, you know, what, what we want it to do. And in this case, we want to buy it. So every Monday, if our exchange has more than 50 USDT, it is going to buy Bitcoin and uh, we want, you know, we want it to buy Bitcoin in latest price or best ask price or best bid price. For now, I'm going to go with latest price and I want it to use 10% of USDT that I, that I have in my exchange. If I have 1000 USDT, it is going to use 100 USDT to purchase Bitcoin every Monday. And that's what this strategy does. It's pretty straightforward. Once you're satisfied, you're going to hit save changes. Once it's saved, you're going to turn it on. And that's all you need to know. From now on, every week, Jaldater will automatically buy Bitcoin for you, which will help you smoothly average out your purchase price without even thinking about it. So stay tuned for the next video because I've got a lot more strategies coming up in the next videos. So until then, take care.